In this video, we're going to look at the concept of chemical equilibrium. Okay, we're going to look at what it means, how to think about it. Okay, so chemical equilibrium. We basically need to change our way of thinking a little bit, all right? Because in the past, with chemical reactions, we think we have reactants. They react until I run out of something, and then my reaction stops, right? Like a, like a limiting reactant problem, okay? And that's true sometimes, and it's not true sometimes, okay? Sometimes I don't have a reaction that it's called going to completion, right? My reaction goes to completion. I run out of a reactant. I make as much product as I can and boom, my reaction's done because it stopped. Okay, the reaction went to completion. That's not true all the time. Sometimes I have what's called chemical equilibrium. Okay, I have a reaction that can do the forward and the reverse reaction, okay? So, chemical equilibrium means sometimes reactions are reversible. Okay, so I have the forward reaction and I have the reverse reaction happening. So the way we used to think about a reaction is like this, right, a nice synthesis reaction, A plus B, they react, they make AB and we're done. Now we're going to think about it like this, A plus B reacts to make AB, but AB will also split up, decompose, break apart, and make back my reactants. Okay, it's a two-way street now. All right, both are happening. All right, and you'll notice that we draw these little arrows with the kind of half, I don't know a different way to say that, right? You've got a half arrow up top, half arrow on the bottom, okay? This actually becomes important later, okay? Uh, sometimes we get lazy and we draw it like this, okay, showing a double arrow on both sides. This is not technically how we should be drawing them because eventually when we get there, sometimes an equilibrium reaction is going to favor my products. So I can show that, you know, this side has a bigger reaction than that side, or I can do it the other way if I can draw correctly. Ugh. Right? So you can kind of show what's being favored if you draw your arrows like this. And I might be getting a little bit too in the weeds, all right? But here you go. This is how you draw this situation, okay? All right. What the heck is chemical equilibrium? Okay? Equilibrium is when the rate Okay? the rate of the forward reaction and the reverse reaction are the same. They're equal. This does not mean that it's when the reaction stops. It does not mean that it's when I have an equal amount, an equal concentration of reactants and products. Okay? No. It does not mean that it's, I like I reach equilibrium when the reaction stops because the reaction doesn't stop. Okay, it's, it continues to go. It does not mean, I'm gonna cross that out, it does not mean the reaction stops. It does not mean that I have equal amount of reactant here, and product. No, okay? These are the two biggest things that are missed, the two biggest mistakes. So don't you make them, okay? Equilibrium is when the rate of the forward and reverse reactions are the same, not when a reaction stops because it doesn't, and not when I have an even amount of concentration of product or reactant, okay? And the way I, I think about this is uh, with an escalator, and I'm sorry for my drawings, all right? So, uh, oh Lord, okay, here we go. Here's my little escalator, and this is a down escalator. Okay, so my escalator is moving down, all right? If I was in the mall, when we could go to malls and go outdoors and not be quarantined, okay? If I was in the mall and I got on my little escalator, 
I would ride my little escalator all the way down and I would get here and I would walk off my escalator and I'm done. This would be like the type of reactions that would go to completion, right? I started with reactants, I made products, and I'm done. If, however, uh, again, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry for my drawings here. Okay, okay. If you're one of those CrossFit people, right? Like, oh, hi, my name's so-and-so. Oh, neat, what do you, oh, I CrossFit, okay? If you're one of those CrossFitters and you have a downward escalator and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm working hard, you know, I'm, I'm gonna run up this escalator on the mall. Don't do that, that's weird, okay? But if you were running up the escalator, up the down escalator, all right? Initially, if you're here, you are running faster than the escalator is going down, so your rates are not the same, right? My es oh, okay, my escalator is going down, and I'm running up. Okay, if you're really good and really awesome, and your reverse reaction is faster, is happening at a faster rate than your forward reaction, you might make it all the way up to the top. Nice. Okay, if you're not so great at your working out, you're not so CrossFit. Okay, you might be stuck down at the bottom of the escalator and never make it up the escalator, never make that reverse trip back up. And so your, your forward reaction has a, has a faster rate than your reverse reaction. If, however, you're right in that sweet spot in the center of your escalator, okay? From, from like an onlooker, if I was just like walking around the mall like a normal person, not trying to go up the down escalator and I'm looking at this person, it would look like they're stopped right, in the middle of the down escalator. It would literally look like they're stopped. But there's a lot of movement happening, right? It's not like the reaction has stopped. That down escalator is still moving, and their legs are still working, right? They're still going up the escalator. There's, it's just that the rate of change is the same. So the downward rate, okay, is going to be the same as that upward movement. My forward and reverse reactions are happening at the exact same rate, which means I've reached equilibrium, okay? Ooh. It's a general concept. We're going to do a lot of stuff with equilibrium, but just to make sure we get the concept. All right. Um, and to actually look at this, we're going to, well, look at a, uh, like an online simulation. So I'm going to have to switch to the other computer to video that. All right.